Hi, it's Mark. So we have a number of products that cover data security and data discovery. We'll talk about those in more detail in a second, but you can think of this as being able to find data in applications, processes, and locations, and understand where that data has actually come from and who it belongs to. That's for such structured sensitive information, as well as unstructured data. Then when it comes to the protection of data, we can also protect structured data in applications and databases, which gives you a huge amount of coverage over highly sensitive information, things like social security numbers, email addresses, device IDs, pay payment information, and so forth. Let's start with the discovery problem. Traditional ways of finding sensitive data in organizations often used a DLP type approach. You typically tried to find where there were social security numbers, credit cards, and banking details in some kind of data store, like a database or a file. The problem with that is it only gives you what's actually in there in terms of, I have some kind of sensitive data. It doesn't tell me who it belongs to, where it came from, and what its lineage is. In our world, we can actually teach the data discovery solution what sensitive data looks like. It will figure out what the digital footprint is of people and identities, and then it can find where those identities or little parts of those identities have gone. It'll actually build a master catalog of personal data in an organization, even at massive scale with millions upon millions of records. This can give you what is essentially a catalog of all sensitive data from a personal and structured perspective across the IT landscape. Even if that data has been extracted from a database, goes into a file, into SharePoint or an email that might be in Office 365, for example. Beyond this, we can also look at where that data actually flows in applications. This gives us places where we might be able to introduce our data security technology to protect it, but it can also give you a sense of risk through the lens of different regulations and different data problems. For example, how many people do I have in California in my systems that fall under CCPA where I don't have good controls over protection? How do I handle the data discovery process to answer a subject access request for data that's regulated under GDPR? This solution will give you that through a visualization interface of where that data has gone and also automate those access requests. Now, when we get to the data protection, we also have the capability to protect data on a data centric basis. This is protecting sensitive fields as they are captured into applications. They stay protected as they are stored in databases. So even if an insider gets access to that database, they get nothing of value. And upon access of that data, we can provide granular controls over what exact information people are allowed to see above and beyond the traditional controls that you might already have. This is a fully audited process behind the scenes. We have a platform that delivers this at scale. Essentially, in the weeds, we actually intercept applications and data flows. So you don't have to open up applications or add code or use SDKs, which has been the traditional way to try and do this. That comes with the burden of high cost and high timelines for implementing data-centric security. Those are problems we eliminate. So in essence, we can go from data discovery to data protection to reduce the exposure of data and data uh, under attack or from insiders and give you a complete view of data security and sensitive data access across your um, IT ecosystem. We'd love to tell you more and go into more details, but that's all I wanted to share for now. And we'd love to get in connected with you as well. So if you do like this, if you see if it's relevant, please don't hesitate to respond. Thanks.